Mr. Arch. So the topic of my uh, talk is this cusp singularities and the orientation distribution of asymmetrically pivoted system of hard disk lattice. Okay, so let us start. This work is done with Professor Deepak Dhar at uh, Isopole. And some of it is published in Journal of StatMac the last year and some is in progress. Okay, so I'll just briefly talk about this work, the, uh, the published work. So Professor Dhar actually has uh, talked about it in the, I think in December here. So I'll just briefly talk about it and then I'll present some new results. Okay. So the motive, so the motivation of our work is actually the plastic results. Uh, less studied uh, uh, phase of matter in physics. So let me explain what is it. So for example, uh, so we have seen this, we, we know this, this is a transition between crystal to liquid phase, it's a one step transition. So crystal, I mean, by crystal I mean that for example, if you have the constituents, uh, the center of mass of the constituent occupy a lattice site and, uh, and they can also rotate. So, uh, and the direction of, for example, it, it is ordered in certain direction, right? So that is a crystal. So here the translation symmetry as well as the rotation symmetry is broken, okay? So you can have one step transition. What can happen, there, is inter, there, there can be intervening phase between this crystal and liquid. So it, it is called a, a liquid crystal and it's much studied in physics. So here, as you know, so this, the translation symmetry is recovered but rotation symmetry is, uh, 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 rotation symmetry is still broken in the liquid crystal. And then you can get a liquid phase. But you can have another phase of matter in between. So intervening phase, it's called plastic crystal. So here the translation symmetry is still broken, but the orientation symmetry is there. So uh, it's okay, orientation order is not there. So it's orientation disorder. Okay. Uh, and you can have like different, within for example, the solution, you can have plastic crystal one, where the translation, the, the lattice is different, plastic crystal two, it, it's, it's changed to different uh, crystal. Lattice, okay, and then you can. Uh, so this actually is our uh, this plastic crystals are first studied in 1930s by chemists and starting with the work Timmermans. Okay, so here is the graph of plot of specific heat at uh, constant pressure of cyclopentane as a function of temperature. So here, as you can see, the liquid phase here, and there are two plastic phase, phase one and phase two, and there's a crystal, uh, crystal phase. Okay. So why it's the name plastic? Actually, it's because of the flow properties. So for example, if you can see, so this phase one is uh, plastic form, uh, plastic crystal and this uh, form two is uh, crystal phase, okay? And uh, Timmerman actually noticed that the pressure to go through a hole is very small as compared to the crystal. Okay, so that's why it's plastic. And it also noticed that the this entropy of fusion is also very small. It's less than five calorie per degree per mole. For example, for first, I think up till here, it's, Plastic crystal and here they are not plastic. It's not uh, so, so they don't go to plastic phase, plastic crystal phase. Okay. So what we have done in this work is to, mini to, to give a minimal model of this plastic crystal. Okay. So what's that? So one second. So this is, for example, if you consider a hard water for any general shape, but they're identical, uh, and pivot point is also identical, of course, and they, they form a lattice. The pivots is in the lattice in d dimension, right? And it's a typical example of that. So it can be in any dimension on any regular lattice, right? So what we'll show, so we, we have like uh, studied two examples. For example, this, this hard needles pivoted at one end on the square lattice and this hard disk pivoted off center on a triangular lattice, okay? So the partition function uh, can be written like this. Uh, so where M is the, specifies the orientation and we have normalized it in, in this way, okay? And uh, eta is something called overlap function. So it is one when the rotors at sites A and B overlap, it's zero outside. Okay. So if, if they don't overlap, it's zero. And you can similarly define the entropy here because there's no energy. So it's, it's defined by like this. And for if A is greater than AL, uh, A by L, so L is the, okay, so I forgot to mention, A is the lattice constant and L is the distance between the pivot to the uh, farthest distance from the pivot to the object, hard object, okay? And it's greater than A by two, uh, greater than two, then it can rotate freely and the entropy is zero because of this normalization and uh, it approaches minus infinity in the closed backing limit. Okay. So, uh, so let us discuss this at most one overlap condition. So what is it? So there can exist some regime of, uh, for example, this uh, uh, lattice constant where it can only interact with only one neighbor. So there, for example, mathematically what it means, for example, you take three uh, distinct sites 
right? A, I, J, K, and this product is zero. So this overlap function, this is zero, always zero. And it actually simplifies uh, the partition function enormously. Okay? And for this, uh, this hard uh, needle pivoted one, and it, this regime is here, this, okay? And uh, for other uh, models, you can find it out using ge simple geometrical arguments. For example, now in AO regime, uh, what we have shown is that this uh, model becomes equivalent to dimer model. Okay, so this is the typical expansion term uh, of uh, this partition function, and this is nothing but it's a dimer because no two uh, this uh, this bonds can inter like uh, overlap. So this is a typical term of the dimer model. Okay, so you can exactly write this, this, uh, this equivalence is exact, and where z is the dimer activity. So this is given by this double integral of variety over eta, this overlap function. And uh, this n of k is nothing but the number of ways of placing k over non overlapping dimer function is that. Okay. So all well and good. So what like what can we extract, for example, from this mapping? So one thing is we can extract is probability distribution orientation of any site. Okay. So for example, it can be written as a contribution of two. So one is when there is no dimer. Okay, so it's a constant, it's independent of the orientation. And the another part is where it uh, there is a dimer there, okay? And for example, A is nothing but the probability there is no dimer is one minus two rho z. Rho z is nothing but the density of the dimers. And this is nothing but this. Because of normalization, they, they are connected. So they are not independent A and B. Okay? Uh, yeah, so N is the total number of nearest neighbor and rho z is the density of dimers. Okay, and F is you can exactly calculate using eta. So eta is also, it's known from the model. So here is the overlap function on a, of hard needles on a square lattice. Okay, so this is given by this, and here is the orientation distribution of the hard needles on the square lattice. So as you can see, the Monte Carlo, this, this dots are the Monte Carlo simulation, and these colored lines are uh, the theoretical prediction. So they actually match quite well. So even though, for example, the density of the diamond model is not known exactly, but in regime that we have seen, so there are various ways to find out the density of uh, diamonds. So they are actually matched. Uh, to actually three orders of uh, like it, it's three degrees of accuracy. Okay, three, so so this is the work uh, that the, the published work. So this is a new result that we I am going to show. So we have looked into, for example, this hard disk pivoted off center. So so pivot are identical on each the disk and it's off center. And now it can it, it's rotate. It can it can rotate provided that there is no overlap. So this car of unit size, lattice spacing is A, and pivots are a distance epsilon from the center. And here also, this for this A greater than two times, one plus epsilon, it can rotate. Okay. And uh, close packing uh, limit is achieved when A is equal to two. And thus we can, so if we uh, have a mapping, like A is equal to two plus epsilon x, we can do that, where x is in between the zero and two. So we take this uh, specific limit epsilon tends to zero. So here actually the, it specifies a lot without, so without, uh, like the physics remains, if, even if take this limit. Okay, so when we take this limit, the hardcore constraint actually uh, to first to, to for example to first degree of to first order of magnitude or in epsilon there is no epsilon. So the correction will be quadratic order. If we ignore that, and the hardcore constraint actually reduces to this, and this model actually becomes equivalent to system of planar spins, whose Hamilton can be written like this. Okay, so where j can tends to infinity. And this is a uh, model, right? And where the, these are the uh, neighbors. Okay. So here also you can write the overlap function. It's, it's all known. Now comes the probability distribution. What happens to that? So here also, so you can write the probability distribution as sum of six, uh, actually seven. And where PR is the contrib uh, contribution corresponding to exactly R overlaps. Okay. At uh, uh, of the disk at the origin with its neighbor. So we are just Finding out the probability distribution at the origin, the disk at the origin, right? Uh, so here is the regime. For example, less greater than the two, there is no overlap, and in this, uh, this is AO condition where exactly one overlap can happen, and there, as these are the whole other regime where you can have two, three, four, five, six. At most, six overlap can happen uh, in this uh, model, right? So AO regime, this uh, all the terms greater than one vanish, and you can write ag again like this, this form. And F i we know here also. This is given by this quantity. Okay. And other F i's can also be like found from F i's F one using symmetries of the triangular lattice. Okay. 
so here also you can for example uh, this when there is ao condition is there so this our theoretical prediction and the monte carlo simulation matches and uh, apart from that you can see there is a cusp singularities here okay and we can also theoretically like say that this position is also known exactly and there are square root singularities and the position of for example other singularities so, so there are 11, 12 of them and the position also is the proposition is given by this so we know exactly where are these okay so what happens the question is what happens beyond ao so beyond ao this mapping is not there so it actually maps to a mixture of uh, like k-mers okay? and if the, the in order to obtain the density of different k-mers it's it, it's very difficult so we can't like write on the exact probability distribution what we can do is we can actually for this model we can predict the position of singularity and the nature of the singularity that is robust so that is actually is uh, what it's in the ao phase okay so for example here it starts to break down so here it's like the last point where the ao condition hold for example here so these position of cusps are exactly known to three digit of accuracy and again here and this singularity is actually move we can actually find out where the singularities are okay so up till here we can do that all, all this thing right so here as you can see in all this there is no symmetry breaking so up till here is no symmetry breaking. below x what happened I, I was doing this monte carlo simulation below for example 0 0.9 uh, the system doesn't equilibrate it's taking a very long time to equilibrate so between 0 0.5 to uh, 0 uh, this 0 0.5 and 1 then system is uh, not equilibrating just below for example 0 0.5 it equilibrates and there is a symmetry breaking transition as you can see here so here just below for example if x is equal to 0 0.45 so there it uh, so there is symmetry breaking transition and that uh, it is peaked around pi by 6 okay so there is disordered phase there is this uh, symmetry breaking phase this we can say it's crystal phase and then there is in between there is some phase so there is strong evidence i think we have the numerical that that is a posterless hourless phase so yeah so these are new results these are not published so we are still it's still a work in progress okay thank you now we are open for questions okay no question thanks to speaker